thinking, you know, a lot of the women they get raped, crossing the border, okay. and so they set themselves on fire. Some of wow. their children, they set themselves on fire to avoid the rape. Avoid the rape because the stigma of rape, you know, means that nobody will marry you. Or you you know, so, so that means, okay. So the stigma of rape means you're damaged goods and you're not worth, you're not worthy of a husband. Right. But that's not your fault. No, of course. But it's the idea because no matter where you go, women are the most objectified, right? So your value as a woman is being a virgin, being this, being true to your husband, being, you know, so on and so forth. So. You know, when you devalue somebody or, or value somebody only on one part of their body and say mm -hmm. that's the total of your worth. Wow. Think of good things here, here in the United States, I was reading last two weeks, a week ago, a young woman in Illinois, she was South Indian, was getting, you know, street harassed, cat calls, and she refused. She said, no, go away, go away. And they raped her and they killed her in Illinois. Right? And in India last week too, another woman, her, her moped broke down and uh, she was looking for help and these guys said, We'll help you. And they took, she said, No, no, she felt. She felt the vibe. She, she felt the vibe. And she said, No, 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 I can handle it myself. And they said, No, and they took her bike. And they rape her, and they set her on fire, kill her, right? So no matter where you go, women still experience the same thing. But the, the point of it is, though, I, I here's a great here's a great thing. Like my friend, she went, I think she went to North Carolina to visit her family, right? Yeah. And she was her niece. But the crazy thing was, they said you see the white vans, a lot of white vans. They're saying that people driving around with white vans are kidnapping women and girls. Oh, wow. And what happened was she was she was with her niece and she was uh, they were in the car or whatever, the truck or whatever, and a white van pulled up not that far away. So the niece automatically said, hey, that's one of those vans. And she locked the doors to the vehicle automatically. Wow. Yeah, see? And, and and somebody over here was talking uh, recently, like somebody in a white van tried to kidnap somebody. Wow, see, same thing. So, no and you know the difference though is in Turkey, Syria, when these things happen, you have massive protests, big protests. In India, when this just happened, they protest. The police, you know, line up in the street, at, but the women there, they you know, slamming through the barricades, so on and so forth. But when this woman died in Illinois, right? Not a word. Nobody said anything? Nobody said anything. You don't see any protests, you don't see any of these things, right? Because you see all these people talk here about all these things. Yeah, but nobody wants to so take action. Do it, right? It's like I read... You, you want to hear yourself talk. Right. Trump yesterday said, well, they, they released this thing from Trump yesterday, right? He plans to kick 700,000 people off the of food stamp, right? And that means 700,000 people go hungry, right? Yeah. And so... Um, and that's crazy because, uh, like my sister, she just got a little bit of an increase in food stamps. Right, and you see the same thing. But, you know, he, the thing is, is that... If you look at countries like Lebanon, right? Right now they're protesting in the streets, they're tearing the streets up. Hong Kong, they're tearing the streets up against the Chinese government. In okay. Bolivia, they're setting fires to the streets against Bolivia. In um, Chile, they're setting fires to the streets. But in the United States, they take your food stamps, nobody does anything. If this happened in another country, people would be on hunger strike. The rich people would even, even the people who are not rich, but you know, middle class, middle class would be because they would feel an obligation. Because if you don't do it, then these other people are going to come be terrible. 
right? They're gonna shut down everything. Yeah, so sure we don't do work. we don't do that. Because everybody is becoming complacent. And all they do is tell you here is that all you have to do is vote. Yeah, but you vote in what happens with your vote. Right. You put them in office and they do what they want anyway. Right, and then even when you do vote, you don't get much more, you just get back to the status quo. So after this guy leaves, you just go back to the status quo. Yep. Because whoever's going to be the president after him is going to take three years to start to clean up right. the mess that he made. Right. And they're already deciding who they want. Right? They don't want any of the people, you know the people like... Uh, Bernie Sanders. Right, who are talking about free health care. Bernie Sanders. Right. Yeah, they make, they're going to make sure he does not get elected. That's what they did last time. For Hillary. Right, but this time they're going to do it for Joe Biden or this other white guy from... The mayor guy from the right? uh, What, Bloomberg? No, the other guy. Uh, so they would rather groom than anybody, any of those people, because they're just going to go back to the status quo. A yes man. Yeah, yes man. That's it. Uh, as long as he's Republican, that's all that. That's all they care about. Well, even if he's not Republican, the Democrats are very different. Yeah, but they don't want. I mean, they don't want a yes man there. They Democrats, just. You know, it's the difference, like uh, Malcolm. Malcolm X, right? Mm-hmm. The difference between the Democrat and the Republican is the fox and the wolf, right? Donald okay. Trump is the wolf, but the other ones are the fox, and the, the, the wolf will show you its teeth before it bites you. The fox will smile and then bite you, and okay. you won't complain because it doesn't, you know, growl at you before it bites you. Yeah, before you know it, then bit you. Right. Like a, it's like a spider. Right, exactly. Because a spider, you don't see the fangs. Right. Exactly. They just walk up on you, and before you know it, you're bit. Yes, that's it. And it's the same thing. So they tell you, vote, vote, vote. But they don't. The difference is, is that in other countries, when they protest, right? When they're protesting, they're telling what it is they demand of you. Mm-hmm. Here they say, this is what I'm going to do for you, and you rally around them rather than telling them what you want from them and saying to them, I'm not going to vote unless you do this. Here they say, we'll do this, and then everybody says, okay, we'll rally around them. Yeah, but then once they get in the office, there's something totally different. Right, because they can't do half the things they claim they're going to do. It's not even right, possible. yeah. So, you know, if, like they say, Amazon, all these people, they don't pay any taxes, right? So, shut down Amazon. Do something. Shut off Amazon. If everybody in this country shut off Amazon tomorrow, shut off Netflix tomorrow, if everybody in this country said, uh, you know, uh, any, you know, in other countries they say, I won't go to work. I'll shut down the trains, I'll shut down everything. But in here, just shut down the business. Once the money stops flowing, they say, oh, sorry, we, we'll do what you say. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody has to get killed. Yeah, but we don't do that. And you have all this Facebook and Twitter and everybody can connect and talk to one another. But all they're doing is connecting to say, I saw the pictures from Syria. I saw the pictures from here. And all like, all, all that terrible. I mean, they call that terrible. Yeah. And nothing's being done. Not, nothing's going to change. And then they say, how do we get here? Well, you've been liking and retweeting and everything else for so long that you didn't notice everything is coming down around. <laughs> You're right, though. And that's how we get here. So we just sit back and vote and don't do nothing. There's one, there's one river. I forget where, is in southern India, right? You know when you go near um, a river or a lake and it's very toxic? Like, I mean, it's contaminated. It gets that form? Yeah. I, I, I heard about that. My, um, because my friend, he looks at National Geographic and stuff all the time. Yeah. And I was at his house and I seen that. The foam? Yeah. It's just, the foam took over the streets. It was like streets like this covered in foam and they said don't let it touch your skin 
like it was giant bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Blowing off. I, I remember. I remember. Skin is gonna burn like toxic. Like that's how bad off we are now. Oh, I think that's for you. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, that was him for him. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go because it's cold. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes, send me the pic. I love to see you. Okay, I'll I got you. you later. All right.